Alright, it's time for match number 3. Uh, in the top corner we have Riku, while in the bottom corner we have Aderna. Now, some interesting facts about these opponents. These opponents are uh, quite experienced, uh, especially Riku. Riku has over 3000 games played, uh, this is uh, somewhat of an expert level. Uh, these action cards were banned and these characters were banned as well. Uh, these characters will be required by both players to bring and these action cards will be required for both players to bring as well. And now that we are finished with the introduction, let's check out uh, the decks that these players made. Alright, let's look at Riku's deck. So we have quite a lot of supports, we have quite a lot of uh, uh, normal attack artifacts as well. Uh, double uh, Parametric, Double Sealy, uh, Double Vanessa. I think the name of the game is just uh, to use as many dice as possible. Alright, now looking at Aderna's deck, the strategy is a little bit different. We have uh, mostly artifacts as well, but those were required by the opponent. Uh, we have Wagner, but we do not have any weapons, so these two Wagner copies are gonna be simply bricks. Uh, we have Electro Rezo, which could come in handy, especially with Oceanid. Um, and yeah, just uh, some basic supports. I think we have a similar strategy here, uh, just to use uh, supports to generate dice and just uh, do as much as possible. We do have an egg. Uh, we shall see if that perhaps plays a major factor in, in this game. Alright then. So, let's begin our third match. Alright, now match number 3 will begin. Aerdna versus Riku. Uh, bit of strange start again. Oh, re-rolled everything. Okay. Actually, that is a much better hand. Are you well, here to play with me? those cards. That's also a good hand. Huh? These are quite good hands to get. Let's see how will our players resolve this. Uh, Aurna should. <laughs> Let me okay, setting up Sisson. That's a good move, I think. Should just play most of these cards. And Riku should also probably play most of these cards. Yep, switching Seahorse for that one extra card draw. Yep, and there we go, Riku set up her stuff. General's Ancient Helm on Oceanid. That's an interesting play. And sacrificing. Leo Harbor for Paimon. Okay. Alright, Rick is going Beidou. I believe Beidou's talent was banned, I'm not certain of it now. Contamination must be washed away. And Erdna is gonna go ocean in. He is gonna set up Ocean in. It's probably a smart play here. Yeah. Both of these players can can stall quite a bit. Especially Riku. I suppose the best move here is to play. Oh. Normal attack. Normal attack. Huh. I'm guessing she wants some sort of different card. Not sure what both players are planning. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Alright, uh, our Arna is gonna extend uh, the seahorse uh, shield. Uh, that way uh, he can get, he can draw one more card. Mirror Maiden. Okay. Here we go. No mercy. And we get the electro charge from Riku. Equipping the gamblers and using the arcane. 
All right, smart, smart. Now, Riku is running a little bit low on health, but the die situation is actually in her favor. Uh, we will see if that ends up mattering or not. Mm, there's some strategies that you could do here. The elemental skill is probably the best one. Another dice generated by Riku. Well, Riku's strategy seems obvious now. Just set up Beidou's uh, burst and then uh, min trolls with uh, Ayaka uh, normal attack. It's a good strategy. We'll see if it works out or not. A tight caller unfortunately does not give stacks for parametric transformer. But it might not matter. No can't really do anything all that interesting here. Power that ended Python. And Riku has uh, set up Beidou's elemental skill. Now, now she's gonna unleash a lot of damage. Can Aurna counter this? I'm not. I'm not sure. Are you here to play with me? Well, that's uh, Ayaka's uh, passive. Cryo normal, cryo infusion. There's enough dice for free elemental attacks. Plus gamblers. And, and there we go. Now, now we see what happens. to go uh, seahorse here must be but that away. would be yeah and perhaps ocean it is better oh just one health short one health short but Erdna does have the um, uh, electro razor perhaps it could be the saving grace that uh, that was needed No fast switch from uh, Riku. Uh, Arna, I think Arna only has one choice, uh, which is to set up Oceanid and then try to get Oceanus burst on uh, Ayaka. Uh, however, both of uh, his characters have Electro application, and uh, Superconduct does piercing damage. So, uh, uh, if if if. Uh, if Erdna were to take uh, down uh, Beidou, you know, that would be that would be that. There are no fast switches, which is interesting. Oh, rhythm of the great dream. Oh, I mean, it is the final round, so it would make sense to replace the general's ancient helm now, because I, it, you're not gonna make it till the next round. It's almost out of time now. Oh yeah, that was basically the only thing. I think... Is Riku gonna use the egg? Riku has to use the egg. Riku did not use the egg! Oh my gosh. Wait, how much is that? That's gonna be 5 damage, right? Oh no, 4 damage. Oh, it's gonna be short. Okay. Never mind. Nerdna did not replace the potion. Well, you know, a good attempt. The rising flood. But not quite enough. Just a couple damage short. Where is the pure land? 
Let's see what happens round two. All right, time for round two. Let's see if Riku can pull this one off as well. Or perhaps Arna will redeem uh, himself. All right, drawing the Wagner. Unfortunately, Wagner in this deck is just a, a pure brick. There is no real good use for him. Replaced gamblers, huh? Are you That's an interesting here move. To play with me? I assume Riku expects to draw gamblers at some point. Maybe we'll see if that ends up happening. Right. That's nice. That's very nice. That was that's a very nice setup. Sacrificing maiden just to just to set set <laughs> everything up. Let me amuse myself a little. It's gonna be twelve dice next round, and round after that. Oh, jeez. I wonder if Erna can handle this or not. I mean, he is gonna draw an additional card because he did end on seahorse. That's one card for free. Twelve dice versus ten dice. Hmm. Riku does have meat rolls already. It will be very beneficial. And she's using echoes as well. Interesting. But you're not gonna get the plus one dice because you don't. Uh, she doesn't have enough cards, so that means probably that she intends to attack, attack again. Which makes sense. A change of charge of Beidou. There we go. Now Aderna did get uh, two uh, Electro Rezos, uh, so she could burst. Not this round, but next round. Maybe stack up the crane returned as well. Uh, and on seahorse next round. Yeah. Yeah, I think. No? No. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Riku is gonna get 14 dice next turn. All right. Mm. To be honest, both opponents are getting like quite decent cards. It's just that Riku's cards are a tad bit better. Uh, she is getting a bit luckier, but perhaps luck will not be the ter the determining factor. We shall see. Oh, pancreation. Oh wow, that's that's actually gonna come in uh, very useful and very handy. The rising flood. And Erna is gonna try to preserve uh, his ocean. Okay. Now Riku does have 14 dice. That that is a lot of dice. And she did switch to Ayaka. Plus, the Arcane Covenant of Rock is still available. Alright. Alright. Let the show begin. An egg. Nice. Can Erna pull something off here? Could he manage to make some sort of comeback? This, this, this is not an easy position to be in. Okay. Erdna will be ending on this image and I believe... The pancreation did activate, and I believe, uh, I believe the Sisson Mage will not survive. We shall see. Uh, Riku did gain uh, 
four princes, however Riku does not have uh, any artifacts, not even gamblers. So unfortunately can't take use of that. However Riku is gonna play Seelie and he will profit this turn. Wow, what a turn! This is only round 2, isn't it? Round 3, sorry, isn't it? This is in fact only round 3. Jeez, look at that hand! Look at that hand! Well, unfortunately, even though it looks impressive, there's not all that much utility there. But there's still like uh, one attack and uh, an egg and uh, the arcane. So there's still like quite a bunch of utility that can be done. Then the oh, okay, this is interesting. So play the switch when the crane returned. The Sealy. You know, I think. I think it would the cost the same, but you couldn't do that. You would have had to switch for the arcade. It's an inter in interesting play there. I mean, you did get plus one Sealy counter there. Because of the when the crane returned. Uh, you, you know, normally it would, it would have been at zero if you didn't do that. So perhaps it was worth using that card. Erdna is thinking long and hard. And he has decided to perform the elemental skill Seahorse. Which is probably the best move. Uh, just to use that General Ancient Helm and clear that application. Next up. Ocean it summon? Ocean it summon and it's a frog. Alright, I think it's the most useful one in this case. Riku could clear the Electro application, but uh, Aderna does have the egg. If uh, Riku does decide to clear the application, uh, that uh, would be beneficial for Aderna. Mm. And she does not, she instead decides to switch to Ayaka. I believe that is a much better move. This way, I think Erna's only move is to switch. However, the Millennial per Seahorse is frozen, but uh, Ayaka cannot do physical attack because uh, she has Cryo Infusion. So it will be slight reduction. A normal attack with Ocean instead. Okay, going for that uh, Electro Conduct. And super conduct from Riku. Wow, that's a lot of cards. Uh, we'll see who will make it out of this round. It's gonna be close. It's definitely gonna be close. Alright. She decided to stay. We'll see if this ends up being the better move. Right, it's Erdna's turn. And he will... Yep. Well... No. GG. It's a good game. Alright, this is the finale. This will be the deciding game. Who proceeds to the next round and uh, who fails to proceed to the next round. <laughs> oh. Are you? Riku does have the stronger hand at this moment. Uh, however, it's a bit early to tell. Riku does go first. Mm. She could manufacture a dice, perhaps use the parametric as well. Mm. However, the dice, Riku's dice are, are, are horrible. Just absolutely horrendous. Did not use flowing rings there. 
I think um, Riku plan. Yeah, there you go. She she plans on using another normal attack. Okay. Okay. She's saving flowing rings for I think Ayaka maybe. Uh, by this point, both uh, players uh, essentially know what uh, what's in the other player's deck and what the other player has, so uh, there will likely be no real surprises. Uh, and okay. A very solid first uh, opening, you know. None of the players wasted any dice. Uh, each player maintained their advantage. Uh, we'll see how the positions change uh, in round two. It was very clever for both players to bring piercing damage because because the egg was a guaranteed card. Uh, they knew that piercing damage would be uh, very effective here. Erdna has a lot of options here, like truly a lot of options. Uh, picking the best one out of all of these uh, is gonna be a, a task in itself. Riku will not burst with Beidou just yet. Uh, she is going to set up a few cryo applications. It should uh, prove to be quite beneficial to her. And the uh, Ordna will uh, draw some more cards. Heart of uh, Heart of Death and Generalization come yeah. here. Yeah, that, 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 that makes sense. And Riku is sending in a Mirror Maiden just to tank the damage as much as possible. Well, Ardna has some choices that he could make. He does have mentrals, but I doubt they will be effective. Perhaps perhaps they would be helpful with setting up Oceanet, but Oceanet has a cryo application, which would mean that he would get frozen. Uh, another idea is to try to go for Millennium Post Seahorse's uh, burst, uh, and that way you could have four summons on the field. With two, uh, with two electro charge, uh, that could do a lot of damage. Traveling doctor's handkerchief won't be very effective. Would a Sisson, would Sisson mage do anything here? I mean, you could, you could self cleanse something, but uh, if if he were to switch to Sisson, uh, he, uh, she would were to switch to Beidou. I guess that's the best move, just to utilize the seahorse. And perhaps bursting with the seahorse with uh, elemental resonance would be the best move here. But I'm not sure on that. I mean, there's no real way to prevent uh, Beidou's attack now. And Riku has mintrolls and uh, Ayaka is mostly ready. The flowing rings. And also Covenant of Rock is there. Still not utilized. Well, Adirna started tuning cards, uh, but he changed his mind. Okay. Alright, saving up the resonance. To ashes. Let's see if you can survive this round. I sure hope you can. I'm pretty sure playing uh, Leo Harbor Wharf and Are ending you here to play on Seahorse with would have been better. I don't know if that's gonna be effective because it's gonna be free damage and then free more damage, you know. So it's gonna be two attacks either way. Uh, if you stayed on Seahorse, it would have been uh, also two attacks if I'm not mistaken, because she would have remained on four health. It seems like a very familiar endgame. Didn't we have the same exact situation round one? 
Am I wrong? Oh, what? Then the crane returned. What? Okay, okay. All right, I did. I didn't expect that. Now Riku had gambler somewhere, so but there's still 19 cards in her deck, so it's not likely that uh, uh, she will draw it anytime soon. Didn't expect the switch. I was expecting two normal attacks with Ayaka and then the arcane, and then switching to to something. But this could work if if uh, she were to use Beidou's tight collar to finish off Sisson and then switch to Mirror Maiden um, to tank the these. That could be. Okay, so Riku is gonna utilize um, uh, uh, the uh, Thunder Beast Starge uh, to avoid one damage. Which is also an interesting move. And she gets to stay on Beidou and then switch to Ayaka. Okay. You know what? These, th these, this is the reason why they're playing the game and not me. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I would've been able to see such a maneuver. If he were to take uh, Riku's Beidou, uh, I mean that would uh, that would uh, uh, that would be beneficial because uh, uh, Riku would not get one dice reduction. Uh, but at the same time, uh, Riku would not have to switch. So essentially, uh, Riku will be saving one dice, uh, you know, regardless of what uh, Arna does. Alright, Erna decided to burst the seahorse. This isn't good. I mean, Riku doesn't have much of a choice here. Mintrolls, Arcane, perhaps Parametric, and then an egg for survival factor. Yep. Now, unfortunately, Riku did not draw gamblers, so that could prove to be quite detrimental to her. There is no escape. Omega burst. Very clever idea. Uh, Riku does he have two attacks? I think. I believe Riku might clutch this by just a hair, like by just enough. Now, Aerna does have the egg, but I don't think the egg will play a factor in this because of piercing damage. We'll, ju we'll just have to wait and see. In the image of the wilderness. Yep, there's the arcane. Tuna card. Normal attack. Water. This is so close. Are you here to play with me? Oh! Riku did just gain an additional dice for free and an additional draw card. And there we go, that's the final attack. Uh, Riku is gonna win this one. By just a hair, now we watch the summon dance. Oh, so close, so close. Well, uh, Riku moves on to the next round. I think that was a very well deserved victory. Uh, and uh, we'll see her in the semifinals.